Welcome back everyone. This is SB Math Teach, reminding you to like and subscribe so I can keep providing these videos for free for you to use. Now let's move on to the last video in the series on solving equations, um, solving linear equations that is, with a lesson on special cases. Now I may come back to this image in a moment, but there are two special cases that you should be aware of. The first special case is the one where there is, oops, the first special case to be aware of is the one where there is no solution. There's in fact no answer to the question. That doesn't mean you should leave it blank or you should put a giant question mark or I don't know or anything like that. The answer is no solution. There's no answer. Your teachers can't do it either. On the other side uh, of the spectrum are the IMS or the infinitely many solutions. Problems here, there are so many answers. Uh, in fact, there's an unlimited number of answers and we would normally reference the fact that IMS or infinitely many solutions any number works literally any value works and that's why we might reference IMS let me show you what those look like in practice and I'm gonna explain this frowny face and the smiley face as well look I should be careful this frowny face doesn't mean that no solution is bad no solution is just a it's just an answer great if you get it correct and it's not solution it's not solvable then good for you, right? So no frowny face is needed, um, but I indicated that because the two sides do not match up. So look at these two examples. Let's see what they give us. In the first example, I see, oh gosh, I see all kinds of stuff. First, I see distributing. So I'm going to distribute right off the bat because that is a good strategy for me. So I didn't touch the 3x plus 9. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. And minus 5x didn't get touched yet. Now I'm going to look at all the variables that I'm looking at. God, there's, well, I guess there's only three of them, and two of them are on the right-hand side. So those two that are on the right-hand side, specifically this one and this one, need to be combined together. So let's do that next. So still haven't touched the 3x plus 9. 8x minus 5x is 3x and minus 12. Now I have variable on the left, variable on the right. This is the classic case of variables on both sides. So we go ahead and get rid of the smaller variable. We have a slight issue here. This is a good way to know you have a special case. The smaller variable, it's a tie. They're both the smaller variable because they're exactly the same. But they're both positive, so I'm going to do minus 3x to both sides. And watch what I get. I get 9 equals 12. 9 equals 12? 9 doesn't equal 12. That's Stop. That's where you stop, right? This is how you know there is no solution, if I can only spell it. This is how you know it's no solution, because the left side of the equation is three values less, three numbers less than the right side of the equation, which means even though 9 and 12 are easy to interpret, this thing here and this thing here, this is less by 3, right? It's 3 less than the thing on the right, because that's what it's simplified down to. So while we don't really need to get into this business up here, we could simply do the math when we realize that 9 and 12 are not the same. I put a slash through the equal sign, not equal. Then you write no solution. And if you had to describe why it's no solution, you simply say because the left and right sides do not match up. What does that look like in practice? Look up here. It looks like this. If you have a number on the left, simplify down to a number on the right that is not the same number, which is to say you have two things that are not the same, but they're supposed to be equal, then that means the problem is not solvable. It doesn't mean that you're not good enough at math to solve it. It means it's not solvable. On the right-hand side, I have no distributing, but I have one, two, three, three variables, two of them on the left. So let's go ahead and Combine those two on the left together. 2x plus 4 and 2x plus, now look at this. These numbers, 3 and 1, I can combine those. That's just 4. Now you might already notice something kind of cool here, but if you don't, or you're pretty straightforward in your solving, you see a variable on the left and a variable on the right. So this is the classic variable on both sides. Just like before, the 2x's are the same, so let's go ahead and get rid of them, and look what you get here. 4 equals 4. Awesome. 4 equals 4 means the left side and the right side are exactly the same. And they are exactly the same no matter what x equals 
Because at the end of the day, even if I subtract away all of my x's, the left and the right side are still the same. So x could equal 10, x could equal 20, x could equal 1 million. It doesn't make any difference what x equals because this equation is the same no matter what. So we say, I'm gonna abbreviate here, IMS. Infinitely many solutions, which would suggest that every single, every single number that you can think of is a solution. So this video is meant to show you uh, show you the two special cases, the no solution and the one on the right here when they come out to be the same, the infinitely many solutions.